is the song playing right now or did it already play it's already okay. see we're just like welcome very thrown in right now with a lot of stuff we're super stressed i'm internally freaking out and you are externally freaking out i'm externally freaking out because tonight is a very special episode of closet yeah. chaos because we are not only live on Instagram, we are live on Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Yes. And so we have moved into another room in our new house. studio area. We're, we're yes. upgrading in life. We're upgrading. We're sitting on this green couch. It's an awesome green couch. It used yeah. to be gray. We had it recovered. And it used to be in our kitchen. But the, the And it fits the vibe. It fits the vibe. And we moved the clothes rack in here. Yep. And we can't see ourselves. At all, like at, like, all. at all, we're, we're just, just looking. Like, like this is so scary, and like I just I feel texted like Daddy J to bring me a mirror, looser or something. But also, I'm feeling a little bit more nervous. Well, I'm not. Okay, gonna, well, there's oh, a mirror, there's but a I mirror. can only see my like bottom. No, here, I just want to. Here, can I just do the whole thing like this? Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Perfect. I can't see myself. Now you guys can see yourselves. Here. This is so weird. They can all. Okay, <laughs> it's so weird. But look, I'm not. They can't see themselves. They I can know. see their, the camera and Craig Dunn. That's why it's funny. Oh, did you just see Craig Dunn? Wait. Probably. Okay. This is a whole new thing. So this is like going to be I don't the know most like chaotic much. version I'm... of Closet Chaos ever. It is. Like probably ever. ever. Except one benefit is that you're not going to touch your hair. I'm not going to touch my hair because I can't see it. But let me just tell y'all, it is 74 degrees in this room. No, in this room, it's like probably 80, 80 degrees. In this so we room. have a fan on us right now. We decided to do this in the hottest, hottest room. I'm not trying to mess with my hair. Hottest. But um, it keeps getting Worst stuck. connection room ever. Yeah. Like, this was all a disaster like five minutes ago, but I'm yeah. glad we're here. Yeah. You look beautiful. So do you. Thank you. Ooh, I like I the little, your hair. I like yours too. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. So you guys, I've been watching so much new jersey housewives yeah if you've been watching the closet chaoses you would know that mom is already on season what five um four. oh wait we can't see who's on and who's commenting i know that's one different okay thing. that's a flaw we've got to fix that we're working that. on that right now so, so if you're we can't see your comments we love you just know that it's kind of almost better though no it's not better but it's like less distracting and i well, feel how like we're we'll gonna know topic more how are we gonna know what songs they're requesting let's just <sighs> sing something anything okay but first yeah. let's talk about new jersey housewives okay yes yeah, sorry so i've been obsessively watching real housewives of new jersey as i told you last week because i'm trying to find out why Teresa judice or judice or judice it's G well they pronounce it different ways it's like you, sometimes oh, judice I, I really really need how come we can't just have a phone where we look at the comments um, how come that's because not because it'll be delayed it'll be delayed it'll it's, it's just uh, okay. a lot of crazy things going on right now. Okay, well, I'm so sorry. If you guys hate this, then we'll try to, uh, to, what's it called? Uh, Rectify that? Pre re uh, we, Amend we it. Produce. We'll try to fix it. What's another word for fix? Um, we'll, we'll fix it for next week. Anyway, yeah. so Teresa has the longest hair extensions. So I just put in super long hair extensions. You are like cause... freakishly obsessed with Teresa Judice. Like it's it, getting it, a little weird. Uh huh. Honestly, mm -hmm. like I mean, maybe y'all are like meant to be best drink. friends or something. You're drinking it with a straw, which is crazy. You never do that. I'm probably gonna be drunk by the end because if you drink any alcohol with a straw, you get drunk, or at least I do. I but I deserve to get why. drunk because this is very stressful. Just looking this into this This is so camera. stressful. Ah! Let's talk about it. Like I, I don't know what to do. But we're just gonna like because I'm used to seeing roll us. With it. And the comments help us keep moving. Like, Craig Dunn, you need to hold this mirror right there in the middle of this light. Yeah, we can I mean, see honestly, ourselves. I need to He's like, I'm kind of busy. Still, no, our, we can't still see our lower half. It's, it's still not working. Next, That's what we'll do. Next time, we'll get a mirror put in. Put it behind to there. To the ring light. Okay, there so we creative. are. Are you looking at yourself? Kind of, but okay. That's okay, Craig Dunn. Craig Dunn is, you, is on the other side of the camera, and he's super busy. That's how, like, produced this show is, this one. Yes. We're used to just being in a closet with an iPhone and mm -hmm. that's it and now there's like a big monitor like all this stuff on microphone. now yeah in other words we've like, gone big time we've made it to the big yeah leaks. in other yes. yeah we're just finally famous I think finally famous or, look at this ring you gave me this ring did I no Remember? actually I gave that to Avery oh I just heard an echo um you gave this to Avery I think I did. no you gave this to me honey but it From makes Puerto no Rico I'm giving that to him for his birthday well he might be watching you can't keep it 
I'm um, sorry. Because Avery's a Leo. Avery would love that. But isn't it pretty? And I got I'm my nails to done today. I don't know if you can see because and I, got it in Costa Rica, I can't Mom. see if you can see. I know. No, I got you a wooden ring in Costa Rica. No, I got you, you that got... somewhere else. Okay, well, either way, you got. Oh, you got me this in Italy or Greece? Yeah, I think it was Greece. Anyway, it's a lion. It's so pretty. And but I got my going, nails done today. To and I got my toes done. Um, and I made sure to put my wedding ring on because, oh my gosh. So I, I tell you guys this every episode, but it's summertime and I get so swollen. And you my, do get swollen. And I don't know why. It's my kind of weird. diamond wedding ring is not too small, but my wedding band is like almost like too tiny. small. Can I try it on? So it stresses me out so oh, bad. Oh, here's the comments. Oh, yes. Okay, are these from Facebook? Facebook. Yeah, YouTube. Okay, hi Facebook. We we have not People been on screen. Facebook Live yet. Hello. Okay. So y'all are is Olivia awesome. your we oldest? So no, Olivia cats. is my middle child. I have three children. My son Avery is twenty. He yeah. will be twenty one on the twenty first. Isn't that crazy? That is and so weird. I know. So and Avery it's and Emma. Be 2021. Avery, and, we're going to be on the road on his birthday, so Avery and him are going to come over this weekend for dinner, so we can just have a big family dinner, so and excited. then we're going to party on the road to celebrate Avery's very first drink of alcohol that he'll Ever. be able to drink. Ever. Yeah. Yep. So mm -hmm. it's an exciting day, honestly. His for first him. drink. How about I'll be in charge of the comments? Okay, so you be in like, charge of the comments. I'll, I'll, I'll talk. look down. Plus, this is my good side, so it's like better for me to. Uh, be every side this is your way, good side. Way. No, no, I. Fun fact about me, I have one of the least symmetrical faces of anyone on earth. But you're it's, gorgeous. No, no, no. But thank you. But it's actually so true. If I, like, drew a line, you would be like, that is so weird. Nothing matches at all. I'm just trying to make sure I look pretty. Yeah, just sit here like this the whole time. Okay, well, so, um, happy anyway. Birthday. Happy birthday, Avery. Everyone is saying happy birthday. Yes, his birthday is on the 21st. And a actually, Avery and Emma are on the way here. Daddy J is grilling out steaks mm. while we're working. And Avery and Emma are coming Ooh, over to meet. Bread. Audrey is in Birmingham with her friends. Um, her favorite place in the world right now. Yeah, I was just in, in Birmingham. Birmingham. Today and yesterday, I was I went for like a quick 24-hour trip. That was your choice to do that, and I hope it stressed you out. Did it? It didn't, actually. I was right on time when I got home. I Tell them what you and Belle did. Your friend Belle. look fine. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Let's yeah. hope so. Um, I went to the river this past yesterday. And me Take and my friend me did a to the river. Wait, how's how's that uh, go? Wait. Oh. I'll take me to your river. I wanna go. Oh, Leon Bridges is so good. So At Leon good. Bridges. At Leon Bridges, you should be a guest. Anyway, you went to the river. And I did a rope swing, and I was very nervous about it. I went with a couple friends, and I did a rope swing. And I did it successfully, surprisingly. Like, I thought I was going to wipe out. And yeah. then my friend Belle. Can you play them, the video? Is, she would never forgive me. She won't care. She it's never... so short, but it's really funny. Belle literally almost, like, Duck. wiped out. Um, she didn't swing. She just, like, got on the rope and landed and almost landed on almost, a rock. She could have killed herself. Play died. it for him. Okay, I'll just show you really quick. But can you like, see it? Honestly, can you see that? That way? That way? I can't do this. This is light. hard. That's the other it's thing. We need the work. phone so we can show pictures from my phone. It's my not going to work. Basically, she just wipes out in the video, and it's amazing. And it's one of my favorite videos now to ever exist. But she's fine. She's, okay. She's fine. And so, anyway, back to Teresa G. Dice. I put in really, really long extensions this week because I want to... I don't want to be her, but I love it's her weird, look. I, there's something about her that I love. But you can't be mm. obsessed with reading the comments either. I'm not obsessed with I reading I need you to comments. be here with me. I'm talking to you, but this is my bad side. It's not. You're always I'm on the you side. Like this. You're always I know, and I'm always side. upset about it afterwards. No, I no, watch no, no, the show no, 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 no. You and look I'm like, amazing. You look amazing. What is wrong with that? Anyway, now I'm on season six, and it's almost to the point where she's going to have to go to jail and leave her four daughters for a whole year and go to jail. I scratched my chin. And um, I need to know why, and I can't even fathom that. Like, Yeah, what if you, you just had to go to prison for a year? And like, leave your you children. Do? Like, that would just be so bad. I would probably just At Teresa G. You. Dice. Um, if you're watching, I just want you to know that um, I'm a big fan. I mean, I thought you were kind of uh, Henri last season, I will say. I mean, season five. Henri. Season five, you're kind of Henri. Nothing's your fault. You're Everything's already past season five? I'm on season six. I just said that. You're looking at the comments. 
You're not listening. See, Season I knew that was six. She started this maybe three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. That's so bad, mom. That's I know. Really it's one of those shows though where you can actually leave the room and do Someone other said, things. Hello from Boonville. She's Boone. obsessed with the comments. You just take it away from no, her. No, I'm not. We should read some, and I wanted you to know. Someone said. Well, hello we're gonna from take it. Okay, let's just take a minute. In a minute and read comments. Okay. But for now, we need to stay I focused. I won't look at Because this is scary. We this can't is see so ourselves. Scary. Like, I... And I wanted to show them pictures of Lucy. It's never going to happen. Ugh. We'll figure okay. Out we'll figure time. that out for next week. But okay. Lucy had her first birthday. That is um, On Saturday. Cousin. And Matt so, and KK's kid. Matt and KK. Everybody knows who Matt and KK are. Yeah, Matt is my brother. He plays bass for me. KK is my ex-stylist mm -hmm. and hair and makeup girl and... She has been working for me for 20 years. She had her baby Millie, who is now seven. Millie grew up on the yes. road with you guys. Um, and Millie is like my fourth child. And then she got knocked up again. Again. Seven years later with Lucy, and everybody calls her Lucy. Lucy. And um, she decided to come off the road because she just thought that would be too much for her to handle. So Lucy was born last year on August 8th, the day that John Mayer came to town. Anyone who knows me knows that I am well, obsessed with John Mayer. Well, you're in a feud Mayer. with John Mayer as well. I am? It's a love-hate, yeah, because remember he's ignoring you? John remember? Mayer is ignoring me, and I, I will not be ignored. He always ignores us, and... It kind of hurts, honestly, but it at does. The same like, time, why doesn't understand... he ever, ever acknowledge me? Ever. Like, I don't think he's even. He even didn't know that we had his catering one time. We made these hair backstage, well. which we did. So, yeah, we were, we so. ate in your catering, John Mayer. We're basically in Atlanta. Family. We're basically someone family. asked and us if we were related when we went to his concert and we were sitting backstage and they were like, "Oh, are you family?" And we were like. Yeah. Yeah, where we family. <laughs> Obviously. Duh. We do Christmas together every year. Our whole family is obsessed with John Mayer. He needs a Christmas album. Oh my god, can you imagine? That. Can you imagine? Oh my and he and I could sing Barum Pum 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 together. <laughs> <laughs> that is I can't believe you just said that. No, it's just a musical love. <laughs> I mean everybody knows that. Like I so the rules are different for me and Danny J. Daddy J is not allowed to um, love another female artist or football player. No, 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 no. I'm kidding, mom. No, I'm That's a joke. No, he can love football players. No, female football players. Oh no, like if Daddy J gets um, hooked on a female artist, Halsey. It makes me jealous. I don't like. Let's it. talk about Halsey. He loves Halsey. He's obsessed He's with Halsey. Obsessed with Halsey, like mm. in an obsessive way, and it makes yep. mom really mad. Like it, it actually does. At one point, she was like, "You can't listen to her anymore." Well, because I'm like, she is a, another female singer, and yeah, it would be like, what if I was obsessed with Tom Brady, and all I did was have you know look at Tom but Brady? But why would and, you be obsessed with Tom Brady? Because yeah. everyone's obsessed with Tom Brady. True. Tom Brady's amazing. He's amazing. Daddy well. J is obsessed with Tom Brady, and Daddy J was um was. I want to say recruited. It's not recruited. Drafted yeah. by oh. the Patriots. You're really weird today. Am I? I'm just uh -huh. tired. I can tell. That's annoying that you can tell. And you just <laughs> told me that on the live. Because now I'm going to be worried that I'm being weird. So. Well, no, no, you're not really weird. Can you, I check I the comments? I think you're awesome. All right, let's check some comments. Anyway, um, he's not allowed to like other female artists. Just like I'm not allowed to obsess over football players. You know, do you guys get that? Anyway, back to Lucy. So Saturday we went to Matt and KK's house and we... Um, we honored Lucy yep. and had a nice dinner and she is just so precious, but she's she is obsessed with cans. She's cans? obsessed with cans, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like an empty soda can. And there was an empty so can. Dangerous. It's so dangerous because it, it could cut her mouth so bad. and her fingers. And so she's obsessed with what's that drink? White Truly. Claw. No, White Claw. It was a White Claw can that KK had been drinking. And it was empty. <laughs> and so Lucy picked it up and just went, ah, and like and it was tipped it back. so funny. And we got tons of pictures, which we can't show you because we don't have the phone. I don't like this. And also, it would be dangerous to do that because people would take that the Oh, yeah. Way. Well, no, it was empty. It was just funny because she picked it she up. She picked it up. Okay. New news today. I saw I saw on the news a little coronavirus update. Oh. Um, this is, I thought this was hilarious. Okay. Okay. It said a new, you know, study showed that another <laughs> symptom of coronavirus could be anxiety and depression. <laughs> 
Were they being serious? Yeah, and I'm like, no shit. I mean, obviously, no it, one wants to get corona. If if I got the flu, I would be anxious and depressed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had the flu a couple of years ago. I always tell the story. I almost died from the flu. Um, I was in bed for four weeks, got yeah. up the fifth week, and could barely do anything. But yeah, was I was terrible. very anxious and very depressed. Yeah, the you whole did time. think that you were dying, so that's not good. Anyway, I just thought that was funny. It is funny. I mean, you know, because of course that would be a symptom. Obvious. Yeah. Um, so that's the news today. A television update for you, and we have to make oh, sure yeah. that we don't forget you know, about go time. over. Forget about our special, special guest. Special, special. And we won't be able to see him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's this one oh, screen right here that's actually It's going to mess you up. It'll mess me up, yeah. But I'd rather just talk to Marcus and not see him if I have to see myself. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, we've been watching Yellowstone. At first, Yellowstone is, is on um, Paramount Network. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Paramount? Paramount. Paramount I say Par Paramount. Paramount. Paramore. No, Paramore, that's another <laughs> know, one of our favorite bands. bands ever. We saw them at the Ryman, oh and they were God, absolutely incredible. Unbelievable. Um, unbelievable. Shout out Haley Williams. At Haley Williams. Yes. We love you. We love, we love your drummer. It. We love all of it. They're Let's sing a Paramore years. song. You okay. start it. Okay. Oh, I got it. I got no, it. Wait, I got wait. one. Okay, go. Okay, no, no, no. You go first. Okay. Um, I know which one you're going to do. Okay. How does it, how does it grow up start? Oh, I thought you were going to do... Can't oh, here we go. Here's on my head. Here we go. Some of us have to grow up sometimes. What and else? so, if I have to, I'm going to leave you behind. Some of us have to grow up sometimes. If so, oh, let me try that again. If so, oh, that's really high. It's very high. Um, she's amazing. I've been talking so I had three thirty-minute interviews today, which we need to stop doing on Mondays. <laughs> by the way, I realized because then it's harder to sing on Closet Chaos. True, it's not fun to be tired on Closet Chaos. But that's how I'm feeling too. It's probably why you think I'm weird because I'm kind of like tired and my throat kind of hurts. And so. we can't see ourselves. It's that's really weird. Nervous. Like this it's is really messing weird. us up just it's, a little bit. Do you guys? How does my hair look? Is it doing okay? Let me see. I just want everyone to. Yeah, tell you would me. be so. You would be going like this. Because I'm sure these little you monsters are like sticking. <laughs> but we keep wearing these earrings, and already one of them is lost. The navy blue no, one. No, I found it. You did? Yeah, I told okay. AJ to give it to you. He didn't. Well. Okay. So. Um, oh, also, also. Wait. I wait. 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 Yellowstone. Okay. Yellowstone, starring Kevin Costner. It's so good. I hated it at first because. Yes. I started on the second season on accident. So I was like, oh my God, this show is so annoying and it's and so weird. weird. And it's like, they won't just lay out the plot. They're making it so complicated. And like, who is this person? And who's that? It's because I started the second season. Yeah, on no one on earth ever has done that before. So good I'm sure I'm the only one who's ever done that. Anyway, it's very good. There are certain episodes that are like cheesy. So like, it's all about... It takes place in Montana, and mm -hmm. it's all about cowboying and rodeoing and cowboying. And so, on today's episode, they had some true life cowboys, and they tried to act. So they did a scene with Kevin Costner, and it was like so sweaty back. I mean, I was so cringe oh, God. because they're not actors. So the one guy was like, "Yeah, you take this horse around and over there, and Nick, and blah blah blah," and it was like. It was about, like, how I acted on Nashville. Uh, <laughs> if you've never seen my episode of the show Nashville, ladies and gentlemen, just YouTube it. It's Just search Sarah Evans on the show Nashville, and the scene will come up that we're talking about. It's so bad. I had to, like... It's not that bad. I had to, they were like, pretend you're listening to this guy over here singing, and then the camera's going to pan to you, and you make a face that shows that you like his, his singing. And this is the face I did. I was like... No, what was it? It was like this. You were sitting there, and it just looks over, and you were going. Mm-hmm. It was terrible. I mean, I it can't was like that. act. It was so scary. I think I can only act I think if it was a comedy. We all started laughing when we saw it. Yeah. Did we that had make to... you cry later that night? Did no, you no, no. I, I, well, I was very, very embarrassed. Like, I hated myself, but no. I didn't cry. <laughs> I'm sure you um, Mom cries about everything. I cry all the time. You guys tell about me if you do this, everything. too. She can't even read music lyrics. She cannot. The other Especially, day we were listening to Taylor Avery's Swift's the same new way. album. Oh, Taylor Swift's new album yeah, is we need so to talk good. About it's that, called by the way. Folklore. We need to talk about that. There's a song on there called Betty, and oh. 
it said the main hook of the song is um, the worst. Wait, thing that I ever did was what I did to you. And I was just trying to tell someone that lyric, and I started crying. I cannot talk about she lyrics. Can't. You can barely crying. sing them, honestly. Like, I know. Look, I can see it happening. I just started crying. Ah! Mm -hmm. See? We have this joke that mom is just like Kris Jenner. Shut up. Okay. I would never cut my hair Kris that Jenner. short. Yeah. Ever. Well, okay. And Kris Jenner is a queen. That's such a compliment. But um, I do like her. Kris Jenner cries all the time. And so we have this joke that mom is just like that. Because she can't. And you, you look like Kendall talk. Jenner. <gasps> Don't even. You're prettier than Kendall Jenner. Thank what you are you talking oh, about? Oh, you are And funny. she can't sing. Libby doing? wrote a beautiful song the other night, you guys. It's Thank you. absolutely incredible. It's called uh, I Don't Wear Dresses. Yes. Yes. And it's so gorgeous. Thank you. Um, Wait, but what were we I talking talk about? I want to talk one more. So people have been asking me what eyeshadow I wear. and people? it's Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are we going to be able to post this on our my Instagram page yeah, it's, afterwards? It's, it's live on Instagram right now. No, but I mean, then yes. after we're live, we put it on my feed. Yes. We will? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. You're shocked. I'm just so happy because I like that because people can go back and watch it even if they miss. But anyway, it's KKW Beauty. I love Kim Kardashian's products. Yeah, they actually and are so amazing. I put this color on first all over my eyelid. Yeah. And then I put this kind of orangey color on. So, so you can see. You always have that. It's like pretty. We got you this for yeah. something like your birthday. For Christmas. Or? Yeah, yeah, it was great. But see, Kim's wearing the orange color, too. I don't know if you can see that. Can they see it? So you and Kim are the okay. same person, okay. basically, is what we're getting from this. And then my other new new favorite product of hers is this a Skin Stuff. It's called Which KKW Which I think we demonstrated Beauty. last time. We did. It's amazing. But I just wanted to talk about it again in case she wants to send me some for free. I mean, that would be amazing. Can we get her, like, yes. pre-sale boxes that she sends to, like, her best friends? Did you know she does that? Will she send me one? I'm her best friend. Come on, Kim. Have you ever met Kim Kardashian? No, I never have. That's crazy. I never have. I think I've met Kris Jenner before, but I've never met Kim Kardashian. That's crazy. I know. Oh my gosh. We're also keeping up with the real housewives of, uh, why can't... Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. Oh okay, yeah. my gosh. That one I will say I'm very hooked on. I mean, okay. I've been watching it with you for years. Like, I'll just come in and kind of watch whenever mm -hmm. you are, but... It is so good this season. They're, I mean, it's always good and always entertaining. And this mm -hmm. season specifically, something's going on. And I'm also kind of, uh, I kind of remind you of Kyle Richards. Yeah, we love Kyle Richards. And she has these really long hair extensions too all the time. And she has like, bangs at the moment for yeah, a I don't movie like her role. Bangs. Well, it was for a movie role, I know, so I respect it. But I don't like it. But anyway, um, yeah, Denise Richards is on. She's been on for like the last three seasons and... There is so much controversy around her mm -hmm. and her husband, Aaron. Oh, And he it's seems weird. weird. I don't know. It's just like... It's weird. I yeah. highly recommend that it's to you, really Real Housewives good. of Beverly Hills. It's it's. I so like good. it better than New Jersey just because I haven't like watched all of New Jersey. Except when yeah. I watch it with you, I love it. Yeah. The but reason I love New Jersey is because they're very old-fashioned and I like all the mm -hmm. Italian traditions. Yeah, and they're true. That's really so cool. all about family and I am too. Like family is the most important thing. To the Italians, I mean, the Italians. I mean, on the show, <laughs> to the Italians, all Italians. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm sure. But yeah, and they're they're very they have traditional marriages. They cook mm -hmm. all the time. Like that's the kind of stuff that I love. Yeah. Um, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills though is a whole other situation. Yes. Going on. Oh, the Kardashian girls have nothing on the Evans ladies. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. That is so cute. Um, would you like to sing a song, Libby? Sure. Um. Should we sing the song that is about our special guest? What song? Okay, I know that song, but I wanted to save it. That one? Yeah, I was going to sing it. Okay, go ahead. You want, us, you want me to sing it? Yes. See, she's weird today. I am not. I think it's because you came from Birmingham. I can't see myself. That's, I mean, That's I don't know. That's a weird I thing. I'm a little done. different tonight. We're going to have to figure out how to see ourselves. I'm not going to lie. It's, I'm a little weird. Right it is. Now. We're just looking into a camera. It's so odd. Do you guys like it better or worse? Comment. I don't know. They probably love when we look at their comments all the time. I know. Someone said, just give me a reason. We should sing that. That's such a good okay. song. Just give me a reason. Just a little bit's enough. Just a second when I'm broken. Just bend. 
and we can learn to love again. It's in the stars. It's been written in the stars in our hearts. We're not broken, just bad, and we can learn to love again. You used to sing the shat out of that song. Thank on you. Stage, cause I think you're gonna it. need to turn the fan away from me because it's making my eyes water and my lashes. <laughs> so many issues at the moment. <laughs> That, now it's on well, me, and I'm gonna get cold because I'm. Well, I'm not. You're gonna not. Get cold. No, it's fine. I feel good. It's fine. I feel You're not good gonna in get this cold. room. Like I'm always cold in this house, and I feel good in this room. It's a hundred degrees in this room. So anyway, so we um, said to sing one from the Taylor Swift album. Well, well you we have did to. Betty. Yeah. Um. Oh, I love the one where she talks about. I love Mirror Ball. Oh. Ooh. Yes, Invisible String is so good. That yeah. album is so good. She's a we don't know the album writer. well enough. Yeah, we to... just kind of started getting into it, but yeah. I love it. I and love it's it. really sad. I mean, it's like a, it is really it's sad. a downer, but it's most the of it. lyrics except are for amazing. Betty. Betty's really funny to me. And there's one called um, about having the illicit affairs. affairs. Illicit affairs. Oh my lord! It's, heavy. it's amazing. So it is heavy. great job, Taylor Swift. Um, no, this song. Which is also the title to my new memoir that is coming mm -hmm. out September eighth. Can you see it? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> um, we're doing a virtual book signing starting September fourth, I believe. Um, is that right? Book signing. I don't know any of those details. Sarahvans dot com. <laughs> um, so we named the book Born to Fly after a song that I wrote. Um, let's sing a little bit of it. Okay, go ahead. What were you just doing? I was gonna grab it, but then, I don't know. Just ignore me. You're so weird. Just today. ignore me. Stop. Okay, me I have no it. voice today. Okay. And how do you wait for heaven? And who has that much time? And how do you keep your feet on the ground when you? That you were born, you were born to fly. So oh, I'm losing my voice. Do you hear that? <gasps> What's happening? Okay, let's that was water. so weird. I know. You turn well, to me and there's a different person sitting next to me. <laughs> I was just like, ah! okay, talk while I drink. Well, guys, this is one of uh, my favorite songs to sing with mom, and I get to do the really, really high part like that I just showed you. But on stage it's a lot more because you have to sing really loud and full oh, voice. Oh wow. Okay. Remember what I did the other day? Or was that on Suds? I did something really embarrassing I on was a, a live show mm -hmm. the other night and it was so bad. So don't go back and watch any of those because it I, was really But bad. no one can tell. I mean. No, that was, it was, it was, well, it was, like <laughs> that. It was yeah. basically, basically that and like it was so loud and yeah. everyone almost laughed. Mm -hmm. I'm still embarrassed about it. Um, so I'm going to read you a little section from my book leading up to our special guest yeah. tonight. Um, let's see here. I said, okay, I'll start writing and you start looking for songs. Then we'll be in touch. Meaning I was talking to my um, then producer, Paul Worley. Um, soon after that, Marcus Hummond and Daryl Scott came out to the house. Since we'd only just met, Marcus said, Sarah, tell me about yourself. I began with, well, I grew up on a farm in Missouri. Then we started writing, and that's how in 2000, Born to Fly came to be. Ooh, baby. So, Marcus Hummond, the reason that I so desperately wanted to write with him is because um, when I was pregnant with Avery, ch almost 21 years ago. That is so weird. Good Not Lord. that I was alive but still so weird. So you know? weird. Even weirder that you weren't alive yet. <laughs> I know. DP. I didn't even exist <laughs> at all. <laughs> so um, and the Dixie Chicks had come out and they had all these amazing songs like Cowboy Take Me Away, um, Ready to Run. Mm -hmm. um, and then this man also wrote Only Love for Winona Judd, which is such an amazing song. Oh, do you ever do you know that song? No. Uh, oh my God, it's incredible. Only love can bring us to the other shore. Only love. <laughs> You're looking at me like I can help you. I'm gonna cry. That's why. Oh. And then also, um, 
he wrote the song that Daddy J and I had in our wedding. Yes. Um, you should sing it. And he, he came to our wedding. We put a huge baby grand piano in the grass because we had the wedding on a farm mm -hmm. in Franklin, Tennessee. And he sang the song for me because he is such a dear friend. Um, God bless the broken road. And if it? you watch the YouTube, um, the webisode, what's it called? The wedding webisode? Mm -hmm. It's just unbelievable how Marcus sings that song. Oh, it's beautiful. And um, and then the third person that wrote that, that wrote Born to Fly with us is Daryl Scott. And he he wrote a song by the Dixie Chicks. What's your that song? Off? I know. I need the fan to turn away from me. I'm so sorry. My eyes start watering if there's wind blowing. Well, you're on just me crying. Yeah, like and always. I'm crying. Um, we have also written so many great songs together. We have to put our earpods in because we're not. That's the other AirPods. Whoa, these are like the wow. new ones. Oh my I don't lord! Understand this. Okay. We're not tech. Um, we've enough. written so many songs together. We wrote. Um, oh no. Rocking horse. Yeah. That's how I live my life. I take it as it comes, and I find the heat and love when it's pouring down on me. In my mind, I see the rocking horse inside the tree. That is such a good song. Also, I love that. Album. I feel it coming on. Oh yes. Um. I feel it coming on. I feel it coming on. And then also, what's the one? Um, I'm your sugar. You know the honey bee. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, what's the one that was on words? Oh, uh, I um, need a river. I need a river. Oh, that's I need my a river one. in a real bad way. He's incredible. Amazing. Like, I mean, just amazing. Um, I'm in shock. Marcus has been out on tour with me um, to write songs. We also wrote Mama's Night Out together. I like, we have so many that. songs that we've written together. And then just songs of his that I've recorded on my album. So, without further ado, I hate that we can't oh, see him. He's oh, been on here the whole time. He, he disappeared. disappeared? He literally just left. He's been on the entire time. Yay. We are so <laughs> good at this, honestly. Every time we're going to bring the guests on. We really are so good. And also, is there going to be a major delay when we put these in? No, oh, these are to prevent the delay, I think. Back. Yeah. Okay. Oh. okay so, them. ladies and gentlemen, okay. my dear friend <laughs> and um, Grammy Award winning, there is a terrible delay. It's okay. It'll be fine. Um, songwriter Marcus Hummin. Yeah. Hey, Marcus. <laughs> hey, Liv. We can't hear him. He's yes, he's talking. Can you see me? Sorry, this is so weird. Marcus, we're trying something new tonight. Yeah. We're also it's on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, not just Instagram. So we can't hear you. Why can't we hear him? I can see him. He froze. I think he said his internet went out. Earlier. And it says no volume. See? It says his microphone is muted. Oh, yeah. You just need to muted. unmute Marcus your microphone. Marcus, your microphone is muted. His Wi-Fi went out. Too. How is this? <laughs> Can you hear Turn me? Turn it up. We can't hear it's him. Not, Mom, oh, right turn calm it down. down. Can you hear him now? Hello, hello? Barely. Marcus, are you talking? Yes, I am talking. <laughs> I can hear him a little bit. I can barely hear him. I'll tell oh, you. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I know, Marcus, I'm so sorry. Look, if this doesn't work, we're just going to go back to normal Insta Live and have you on next just, week. Or just call him on the phone and put him on speakerphone. Call him on the phone right now? Yeah, put him on speakerphone. Okay, oh my god, I'm freaking out. We're going to call you, I guess. Like I'm going to call you on your, shh, on your phone. <laughs> this is so weird. I don't, I'm, I'm, he's laughing. I, I feel Okay, bad. I'm going to put you on the speaker. Wait, now he I'm needs to get off the, the live. Hey there. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm off. I don't have a picture anymore, but I have your, uh, I have your voice. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm where does... Sorry about all that. We're going to have you back on another time because this is, you deserve better than this. Oh, no. Listen, if uh, if my, you know, we just got back. We were on the, we went down for a college visit for our youngest, for Moses. 
and we got back and I don't know what happened, but our Wi-Fi is down and we've been working on it today and we have to bring a technician in tomorrow. So I'm just so sorry that uh, I, all I have is my little phone here. Oh, no, no it's you're totally good. fine. So can the fans see Marcus? No. Oh. They okay. can just hear our conversation. With okay, well, well, we'll talk. So Marcus, um, yeah. you know that I'm releasing a memoir on September 8th and I decided to call it Born to Fly because Born to Fly is the... Probably the most important song in my entire career that you oh, wow. started when you came to my house that day when Avery was a baby. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember that. Uh, oddly enough, I really remember that day really well. And you think about, or I think I remember it well. But, you know, because the song became so important that, uh, um, and, and I also just remember a couple of funny, kind of funny aspects to that day. And, um, what do you remember about that day? Well, the thing that I remember was at the beginning of it, a couple of things. One is that in the very beginning, Daryl was super shy. You know how he could be real shy at first? Yes. Kind of quiet. And I think that we had gotten together one other time or something. No, that was the first time I met you. Was it really? Okay. Yes. Well, for whatever reason, I i don't know. You made me feel very, you know, kind of like family at home and relaxed. And... Um, and I, I remember you had just had Avery. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, and then I just remember you got... This is a story which sometimes I tell, uh, but that you got a phone call. Do you remember that? And you left the room. Oh, my and, God. Yeah, and you left the room, and you were wearing sweats. I remember you were like... I mean, it was like... I think you told me it was like the first writing that you'd done after having your first child and so when you left daryl kind of turned to me and you know we we hadn't gotten a song at all at that point and we were kind of you know just the way you do you're just rolling through ideas and he had turned to me and said you know they like this is not going well you know <laughs> and i was and i was like oh you know, you know it'll be all right it's gonna be we'll, it'll all work out and then uh i hope this isn't embarrassing but i guess i I've seen this show a little bit, so you guys allow the occasional embarrassing comment. Oh my God, but, we love it. I love it. Yeah. Tell it. <laughs> so you came back and, and you were crying. <laughs> and uh, and I remember that Daryl and I were just like, you know, like we did that thing, you know, we just froze like men do. And you know, like a woman's crying, you just just turn into the petrified forest. And, yeah. And I remember saying to you, I said, you know, oh, Sarah, you know, what is it? What What happened? And you said that was the record company. Do you remember it now? <laughs> yes. Yes, and and you said that was the that was the record president, and he said, "Okay, time to take the weight off." Yes. <laughs> and no. I remember. And the thing that I remember about that is, in celebration of that, we bought two huge pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> we had two huge pizzas delivered, and then we wrote Born to Fly. Marcus, I totally <laughs> wow. forgot about that, because I tell a story in the book about that, about how, you know, that pressure from the record label really yeah. took away a lot of the joy that I should have been having, you know, after having my first child. I forgot all about the fact that that call came while you were at my house. Yeah, and I remember it so well, because, of course, um, we were so nervous and we didn't know you and you know and and just like tonight like you're crying constantly yeah you know yep. so crying crying is like a theme now now i understand that i might not have been quite as uh, concerned but no it was it was actually very sweet and uh, and then i remember that the process it did the, the song actually moved really quickly and it did have to do with we were i think like you said, I think I remember just asking you to tell about who you are, where you come from, and sort of like your earliest passions. Yes. And that, and then I don't remember, I remember wanting to have a scarecrow in a song, but that's, these are only vague recollections. It's sort of like, you know, the next thing I remember was we did a demo, but the demo was, was a bluegrass demo. Do you remember right. that? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah. So we, yeah, we did a shuffle, <laughs> shuffle version. And uh, and it was groovy. It was great, you know. But uh, I remember your record president, I believe, said uh, he sent you and I back into the studio with Paul Worley. 
Yeah, because he, um, well, and, and I agreed. I thought Born to Fly was such a great song lyrically, yeah. but because we had made it so bluegrass, I worried that it would never be able to be a single because we did it in like the train beat. So hold the phone, baby. Up there. So we did it like, I've been telling my dreams to the scarecrow right. about places that I'd like to see. I love that, though. So I when, I, when I decided to use Matt Chamberlain on drums, I was yeah. like, what could we do to Born to Fly to make it more radio friendly? And so I started thinking about that song, um, if you want to be my baby, just go ahead now, and if you... I want to call yeah. me baby, whatever it says. Um, is it called Two Princes? And I was like, that's what we need to do with Born to Fly. So we just need to be like, ba bump bump, ba bump bump, ba bump bump, ba bump bump. So that's when we yeah. came in, and Matt Chamberlain, you know, he was just kind of playing around on drums, and he did that thing on the snare. The intro? At the, the intro. Oh and gosh. he was just kind of kidding around, remember? And we were like, yeah. no, do that, keep that. Yes. Well, there was a there's a step in between though, and that step was that you and I did a guitar vocal with Whirly, and uh, and we oh, used really? that groove. I called it the Little Miss Can't Be Can't Be Wrong groove. Yeah. But it was all it was also uh, it was also said to me, can you can you play the chords that you guys have that you have in that song? Can you make can you use the similar groove to Ready to Run? Right. It's inter it's interesting that you reference that song because. And, it's, and they're not the same grooves exactly, but it is a back to back to back to back. Yeah, you know, it's a it, it's a backbeat groove as opposed to a, a straight train shuffle. And with you, you and Galani and whoever, uh, you are exactly right. I mean, it. And I think I remember at least. I again, you remember things. You sort of hindsight is twenty twenty. You know, but I, I kind of remember when we were playing it, even before Chamberlain got involved. That it right away it began to speak differently. Right. And yeah. It then really it just became funky. like funky and and it was so funky. yeah, it was funky. And then we had even though we had like scarecrow and those kind of things, it became more vibey and cool. Mm -hmm. And then Definitely. it just became the theme song to my life and my career. Yeah. And um, it, it was it was really life changing and. Um, us too. The other thing and that our made family. it was it was life changing for me, and also as well. You know, Born to Fly has been a huge blessing. I mean, yeah. Uh, I, and 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 it's one of those songs for me. Like it's, it's almost whenever I play, even when I play, I almost always do that song. I don't just try to sit around and do songs that have been cut, but I love that song. Like I love yeah. to play it. Uh, and hearing actually hearing you and Daryl do it. Um, that night at the songwriters thing. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. That was a killer version. Yeah, uh, that was amazing because Daryl Daryl Scott is a fabulous guitar player mm -hmm. and he's yeah, so the best. crazy groovy and you were inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, which congratulations again, yeah. by the way. I'm so well deserved. Thank you. And I was so honored that you invited me to come and sing Born to Fly out of all the hit songs that you've written and co-written. Uh, that you invited me to, you know, be one of the songs that you said, you know, this is one of the songs I'm proud of. So, yeah, Daryl Scott and I performed that. Um, yeah, I was very grateful. Well, that. it was an honor. And you have so many incredible songs. We have so many songs that we've written together. Um, I, I think, for, I mean, I know every album since Born to Fly, I have recorded a Marcus Hummond song. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Just if not, I mean, just about. If not, sometimes a, a couple. In some cases, you've been, you've cut. I think you've cut more than. I mean, again, gr this is set out of gratitude. Um, I, I think you've cut more things that I've either written or co-written with you than in any you know anyone else. So, it's, mm -hmm. I was listening the other night. Uh, I got a mandolin. My uh, family bought me a new mandolin, and. Um, I'm not a real good mandolin player, but uh, there's a song that we wrote. Uh, I always call it Blackbird, When the Blackbird Flies, but it's not called that. It's called Caged. It's Caged. That's it. That's it. And I finally found it because I, I kept looking at blackbirds. You know, I'm like trying to find 
you know, and of course, having written for so long, I've, you know, I've got a few songs called Blackbird <laughs> or yeah. something with a blackbird in it, you know. And I finally found the song, and it's you and Michael McDonald. Yes. Like, what? That's like, you need to it find is that a wild on recording. Um, I love that song. I always play it for people, and I, I don't know why it did not make the album. I think it was supposed to be for Restless. Um, yeah. And it didn't make the album, but we I, we should just release that song. I mean, it's, I can't believe and that. Michael McDonald from yeah. the Doobie Brothers wow. sang harmony. Um, it's, it's also you know like I've been uh, uh, people have made fun of me to some extent because somebody once uh, told me they said you know you're the guy that there's never a chord you didn't like, and I love a lot of harmonic shifts and I love melodies. I'm a big melody guy. Yeah, and and then I you know. And then groove, you, you know, enjoy, enjoy. And I tell you what, I was listening to that thing, and, the, and it is really fun and really all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it starts out. Um, Do you ever feel caged, locked up locked like up a bird? bird? Do yeah. you ever feel the way of this I'm whole this world? world? And then you always have such imagery. So then it goes, I look across my field. Searching for a sign for the winds to change and free this heart of mine. And then Michael, oh, uh, it's I amazing. It's, we have oh to my find gosh, it. Gosh, I'm already so excited. Yes. So Marcus, you and I have um, so many things in common, but one is that our children are following in our footsteps. Yeah. Um, I know. And your son and is Levi Hummin. Yes. And he is having. Like, he's taking off. He's Amazing. having such a great career so far. Yeah, he's doing really good work, you know, in a, in a, in a time, too, that's... Um, it's always tough in the music business, but, and, of course, now we have, um, with the with COVID, and, you know, everything is shut down, and no one's touring, and um, we're actually playing our first socially distanced live gig this Thursday. Congrats. Um, I'm going to go play with him. We've done some stuff, streaming things. and but, uh, Yeah, real proud of him. And I've been really impressed by Liv. And Avery's playing and writing. and You guys are really in the thick of it, aren't you? Well, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I love doing it. So does Avery. Avery's just multi-talented with instruments and stuff. Yeah. So he looks up to you a lot for writing. And yeah, all you I mean, obviously so do I, but he's more of a writer than I am. Avery really wants to write with you, Marcus. Because he knows that you would teach him so much. So it'll be fun. Well, we should all get together and do something. Family I, writing something. Yeah, we should. Oh, my God, that would be <laughs> so fun. I also forgot about Desperately that we wrote together. Oh, I, oh, yeah, love, yeah, yeah. That I love that song. song. Yeah. I mean, I bet you we have more than ten cuts together. I mean, that song is so good. Yeah. Desperately is really fun. Every um, song uh, that y'all write together is just like, I can always tell when you write with him. Always. Mm -hmm. And when it's one of your songs, Marcus. Yes, I even can if always it's, tell. Right. Even if I didn't write it with him, you can tell yep. when it's a Marcus Hummin song. And they tend to always be my favorites. Mm -hmm. Like, on the albums, honestly. Like, they tend to always be the ones that I pull. I'm just like, this is unbelievable. And I yes. think it's because they That's sound really so, like, classic to what your sound is. So yeah. So I hear it, them, like... I, I always credit Marcus, you, and Daryl Scott for helping me form my sound mm -hmm. and kind of stay with that. And what always made made it even better is that you and Daryl would come in the studio and play your instruments, your your weirdo, wacky instruments on my songs. <laughs> like, what are some of the weird things that you play, but they sound so amazing? Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, he may be the, you know, he's more of a, he's a really a string uh you know, Daryl's a guy who you could say is one of the greatest guitar players um, in acoustic music. I mean, I think many people, if, if folks that know his work, but, you know, I, he can play everything. He's, I've seen him play double bass. You know, he's, he's got kind of a cool hand with piano. He has a collection of instruments. He has a lot of wacky instruments, you know. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm, I'm really a guitar player acoustic guy and I kind of specialize I have a couple things that I do uh, I was taught finger style so I, I use kind of a four finger roll 
but then I love using open tunings, rhythm. That's mm -hmm. that's still born to fly, and uh, mm -hmm. only love was was that way. And I'm a piano player. You know, yeah. I play a lot of a lot of piano, and then I love banjo. And uh, with banjo, I'm, I'm not a, a you know like the real Scruggs kind of style, but um, I just love that instrument. Yeah, you know, so, so much. <laughs> we but also I, wrote "I Give In" together. Yeah, I, I was going to say too that you know. Oh my God! But the you know, see, the thing is, Sarah, that's such a huge part of who you are. Is you know your sense of melody and your sense mm -hmm. of writing and your lyrical sensibility. Thank you. It's so fine tuned, and it doesn't. You know, not every artist. Obviously, that's just not how it is with everyone. And it's interesting mm -hmm. when you talk about Taylor, and I think there's a lot of, you know, you 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 said you created the mold that she. You know, you're, I'm sure, one of the artists that she looks to as well. And Liv, I'm sure that's, you know, what, what are your aspirations? What are you thinking about? Well, I want to do music, but um, I want to, like, learn how to write really well, obviously, for myself. But as far as yeah. just, like, I just want to make really good albums. and. She wants cool. to find that balance between, you know, being a, a rock star, but at the same time, <laughs> you know, holding very very high standards to the songs that she writes and records yeah. olivia is one of the best singers i've ever heard in my life Thank and she you. can move i mean she can literally it's like ariana grande times beyonce times <laughs> sarah evans yeah times a hundred you know yeah and so yeah um well she's a she's a natural i mean Thank you know you. the yeah. apple's not not falling far from the tree so it's yeah. You know, because there, I remember when you were coming up, people would go, oh, gosh, she's like, it's like Patty Loveless meets, you know. I mean, there would be that, in our time, you know, we all, we have the things which we look to and we move towards as singers. I mean, I think, Liv, one of the things you can look to as a writer and, and think of your mom in this regard is that your mom always knows what she needs to say. Like, yeah. you know, it, and when she, and I think she handpicks the kind of people she writes with, too, if she's co-writing because she begins to get a sense of their both their sort of their aesthetic and then their I mean without getting too heavy like their spirit mm -hmm. and there's a there's a kind of openness um, but it's not it's not a free-for-all like I don't want I feel like when I'm writing with your mom like I know I get, I have a basic sense where 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 we're gonna live together in terms of in terms of a song mm -hmm. and then I also know that that she's going to be really, really clear about what it is she needs to say, and that's a beautiful thing to find. You, when, you know, in an artist, and I, part of the reason I I look to that it, is that I, I live that. You know, I'm a writer for myself. Started out in the business as an artist, still make independent records, and you know, do all kinds of weird, wacky stuff. But I'm always trying to listen to what it is that I feel like I need to say. Mm -hmm. and, yep. and those are the best relationships if you find co-writers like that you want to nurture them like a garden you know yes because because and, and things come in and out of season like you can have a season of incredible writing when everything is right and then for whatever reason maybe people move to a different state or they get married and you know and something else happens in the rhythm and kids and who knows things change but with us, Sarah, I mean, I don't get to see you that often, but every time we've written, I can honestly say it's been a joy. Uh, same, Marcus. I mean, really, I would not be the artist that I am today. I wouldn't have the success that I have, um, nor have, you know, have had the joy that I've had in making music if I hadn't met you and written Born to Fly, the the very iconic song that yeah. we just wrote the first time we met i mean that's yeah. just amazing our first thing. try um so thank you so much for being on our show and i want to have you on again where we can see you but yes really <laughs> i do want to get together with me and you and levi and olivia and avery and we should all sit down and write a song together that would be That'd a dream be well, let's find a way to do that, and, and maybe sometime, to, or also we could, you know, try to coordinate sometime when, you know, when I guess when when people are performing again, and you mm -hmm. know, hopefully, hopefully that won't be long, and uh, it would be so much fun for all of us to to sit on a stage and sing harmonies. Oh, and, oh my gosh, that would know, be great. Uh, 
Well, you guys are doing great stuff, and Liv, it's so much, it's so fun. I, I remember you as a little, little girl, <laughs> and oh, you yeah. had those big eyes. <laughs> that's wonderful, you know, and, uh, and you've just grown up to such a, a lovely young woman and a great talent. Thank you and, so much. Uh, anyway, Thank I'm just you. wishing all the best for you and fully, fully expecting that you're going to cut lots of songs of mine and that I'll be writing with you. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, please. It would be an honor. For sure. Marcus, we love you so much. Thank you. you. I really appreciate you doing this. Say hey to the family. Hey to Jay. You guys, Will too. Be. Tell Becca hi and all the kids. And God bless. I love you so much. Mwah. Love you, too. Bye. God bless you. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. Group, group hug. hug. So cute. Marcus is amazing. So, oh. You're crying? Yes. Oh. Because let me just tell you something about Marcus Hummond. The man never said, I mean, he's very funny, first of all. Yeah. So even though he's very artsy and he talks, like, you know, really deep and serious mm -hmm. stuff, like, he's also incredibly funny, but he doesn't mince words. So, like, everything that he just said to us and, like, those compliments he just gave me about how I know what I want to say when yeah, I'm writing no, and all that. Amazing. I take that to heart and that mm -hmm. is truly such an amazing compliment from him because he's one of the most prolific songwriters I've oh, ever worked I mean, with and he's just a brilliant guy yeah. and he has a heart of gold. So I can tell. Marcus, we cannot thank you enough. Did you find Caged? Yeah. Okay. Also, one other song I was going to talk about, I Give In. I was pregnant with you when we wrote I Give In. Really? I'm going to cry. So the very first part of that I can song, say it. <laughs> you sing it. Sing it. <clears throat> it goes, I hope I'm in the right key. Do whatever key you want. When I look at you, I see the souls of our unborn children. I forget the other words. If I pray. And if I pray, pray for you, would you? Oh, wait. No, wait. I said the wrong words. If I sing for you. Yes. Would it be the sweetest thing you've ever heard? Um, I don't, know the next part. I don't know the words, <laughs> but anyway, um, it's, that very oh, first line, I, you know, because I was pregnant with you, and so uh, writing, when I look at you, I see the souls of our unborn children, That's and Marcus movie. just went, <gasps> like, and that, you know, that whole song is just about, will you give up everything for me? And if you promise to do that, then then I give in. I, I'm it's, there, too. Y'all are amazing. We're amazing together, Marcus. I want to write with him or just cut any song. Write a song with me and Marcus. Recorded. I really would. Oh, dear We're God, let Corona be time. over. We're almost out of time. This yes, is a okay. very, like, chaotic but fun Yeah, okay. One. So, so let us know what you thought. I hope we we'll can post it, it to the Instagram. We'll fix it next time. It'll be a lot better. I mean, we'll see you on Monday. But we'll see you next Monday. It was Monday. still good. We had a really good time. Have an awesome week. God bless you. Here's the song that you want me to put it up to the mic that we were talking about that Marcus and I wrote together called Caged. And, uh... I wish we had a speaker. Here we go. I've never heard it.